Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use OneNote Class Notebook in Microsoft Teams. Now this is a great feature to really keep everything organized with your class and your students in this one place. When you create your Teams, you have access to this Class Notebook where you can be sending out uh, your assignments, quizzes, uh, you could have a teacher space, collaborative space, many ways you can use this. So today on Teachers Tech, I'm going to walk walk through how you can set this up quickly inside Microsoft Teams and get started with it right away. So I am going to be working inside Microsoft Teams today showing you Class Notebook, but I just wanted to point out I'm in my Office 365 right now logged in and you can see Class Notebook lives by itself outside of Microsoft Teams. And I'm showing you in a connected uh, way inside Microsoft Teams, how I would use it in a class, but you can work without it, without Microsoft Teams too. And the things I show you today will work inside this too. If I go ahead and click on it from here, you can see where you can start your class notebook, add or remove students, add new teachers, and manage notebooks. But for now, I'm gonna go over into Microsoft Teams and start from there. So now I'm in my Microsoft Teams app here and I'm about to start a class. Uh, today I'm just focusing on Class Notebook. If you wanna learn more about Microsoft Teams, I have a tutorial on that that will kind of break down all the great features in it. Just check down below uh, in the description for the link to that or in the cards above and you'll be able to check out that video too. But for this example today, what I'm gonna do, I'm just under my Teams here and I'm gonna create a new team for this uh, example video, the tutorial video, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on create team now I have a different ways uh, different teams that I could create you can see from a PLC I could do something for staff and other I'm just going to make a class today for this example and I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to give it a name and this is just an example tutorial so all I'm, I'm just going to call this example class uh, you can see how I can uh, give a, a description to it, but I'm going to go ahead and go next on this one. And at this point, uh, now you can always add students after or teachers after the fact, but I'm going to add a couple students just so I don't have an empty class uh, in here. But I can quickly add these students like so just by start typing in their name and I'm just adding my own kids into it here. So I'm just gonna put a couple examples like this into it. If I wanted, if I was collaborating with teachers, I could go ahead and click over on teachers and add them here, but I'm not adding any today on this one. I'm, you can see how I could skip this and then go on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add and hit close on this one. Uh, and we're gonna have a class all ready to set up at this point, and we're gonna go straight to class notebook. Now that I have my example class created, you can see right here, I have my one general channel. You can create more channels if you want. Do check out that other video that I mentioned before and I'll show that will show you how to make the channels. We don't have anything in our post here. And in this video, I'm just focusing in on our class notebook here. When I click on this tab, you can see, give your students a private space uh, for notes and a canvas for collaboration. Uh, and you can go ahead and just set up one note. I can go from a blank one, or if I've created one for a different class, uh, I can click on it and go find it and bring it in, but I don't have one created, so I'm gonna just be using a blank notebook on this. Now I'm just gonna run through the different areas that are gonna be created in your uh, in your OneNote notebook here. But we have our collaboration space and you can see what the features are set or what the permission levels are set. We can see teachers can edit the content, students can edit the content. So this is a collaboration space where everybody can work together. We have a content library. So publish course materials to students. Maybe you have an outline you could put in there, but you don't want them to change it you just want them to view it this is the content library so you can see a teacher can edit the content students can only view the content and then we have student notebooks this is going to be created for each student and they'll only be able to view their own uh, so a private space for each students teachers can edit the content you can go look at the content students can edit his or hit her own content and can't view other notebooks so this is great this is 
is that feature with inside teams I really like for a way to manage your class. Uh, it just adds a lot of features to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next down below like this. And at this part, uh, you're, each student's gonna get different sections. You're gonna get uh, handouts, class notes, homework, and quizzes. But you can uh, edit this and add more sections, each of these or sections. If I didn't want one, I could hit the X here and I would delete it. But I can add new sections. So depending on the class that you create, you can customize it the way you feel best for you. So you can do it at this point, but you can also change this later on and I'll show you how to do that too. But I'm gonna leave it for this example today like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit create and it will just take a moment to create this notebook uh, to go through to set it up for my students and the spaces up all correctly. So now it's created our class notebook and you get this welcome page to it. If you've ever used OneNote before, you can see it looks very, very similar, but there are some differences in here and I'll be showing you those. But if you wanna learn about Microsoft OneNote, I'll put a link down below to that. It's a great way to keep your life organized. And so I'm gonna open up uh, hit this little uh, arrow right here and open up so you can see a little bit more. Now I've discussed this already, how we have our student notebooks, our content library, and our collaboration space. This is where you can see that the sections are created. So these are all sections in this part and these are our pages for each section. And you can always create more sections down at the bottom. There's a plus section that we can add to and we can add more pages to this too. But so remember, so this is just the welcome page to this. Uh, you can delete this if you want. Uh, we can go ahead to our collaboration space. Remember, in a collaboration space, the space everybody can work inside of here so if I was going to go into here I can click the, on this and at this point I can go ahead and create another page so if I add the page and I'll just say hello class and I could say something about introducing themselves and they could write anywhere on this page maybe put uh, some link to somewhere that tell me about themselves and everybody be working on this page and all the students would be able to see it so that's the collaboration space. Then we have our content library. If I add any pages in here, uh, that's gonna go to all the students for them to view. So they'll be able to see this. Each student will see their collaboration space. They'll see the content library. But remember, they can only view it. They won't be able to edit it. This is just for the teacher to place for the students to see. Now I have my two students in here. If I open this up, uh, you can see those are the different sections that uh, I created for each uh, each student notebook that are there and you can edit those I haven't added anything to these yet I haven't sent out any content for them any quizzes so if you go through and click on all these these are all empty in all of them so I am going to show you how to do that in a moment another thing you can do we're working inside Microsoft Teams right now you can see that we can open in a browser you can open in the app or open in a browser if you didn't want to work inside Microsoft Teams, but I'm going to be leaving it as such to keep working in here. So now everything's set up in our class notebook and ready to go. We can start to distribute our different content to students, one student or entire classes or groups at a time. This is what really makes this powerful, especially inside Microsoft Teams of organizing your class. Now I'm just gonna go up to the welcome tab here uh, and open up class notebook. So I'm gonna click on this. This is where it separates from uh, just OneNote. You won't see this option in OneNote, but as I click on uh, class notebook, at this point, I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna show you how to distribute that one page out to different students and we'll give them a little assignment on this one. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is under welcome here and I'm under the class notebook, I'm gonna create a page first here. So I'm just gonna go and create a page here. You can see it's untitled, I'll just call it uh, uh, we'll call it welcome back and then maybe I'm asking students to give a little uh, write up a bit of things about their summer here and I can write other notes uh, remember I can click anywhere I'll just say tell me about your summer and I want this to go out to each individual student. You can see that it closed, uh, but I can open up the section, but I'm not worried about that right now. 
I can distribute this page. So you can see there's distribute page and I'll go through the different parts of here uh, to show you all the different ways you can manage the notebooks. But if I drop down, you can see there's distribute page, individual distribution, group distribution, uh, cross notebook distribution, or I can delete this page here. Uh, do I want this to go to uh, individual uh, students or maybe I have a group already set up? I'm just gonna go to this top one up here and hit distribute. You can even actually, if you had a different multiple classes of this, you could distribute the you know, to different notebooks across classes too. Now, where do I want this to go? Do I want it to go to class notes? Do I want this to go to handouts? Do I want this to go to homework or quizzes? Uh, maybe I should have made a different section before and this, I'll show you how to manage your sections later, but this is where you, when you're setting your, cl your class notebook up, thinking about how you have your, uh, how you'll want to distribute your content and you want students to work on it. But I'll just, uh, what I'm going to do is let's just put it in homework for today and I'm going to go ahead and hit distribute. Now, what this is going to do, this just takes a few moments uh, to do. I don't have many students here, but it's going to go through and put that page in that section of it. So remember, it was blank. You can see it's done. I'm just going to just open this back up here again, and I'm just going to go to uh, homework under Ashton here and click on it. And you can see now there's the welcome back page. If I click on it, tell me about your summer. They could go through, so each student will get this page. So if I went back to Keegan's over here and clicked on uh, and opened his up and then went to homework, you're going to see that the welcome back page there. Each student can answer it separately and then that information is going to come back to you and it's all going to stay uh, digital. So you'll be able to see their comments. You can write things back to them. Let's continue on with the different features inside Class Notebook. And next we're gonna look at distribute new sections. So just like how I showed you how you could distribute pages to individual students or groups, you can do the same thing with the section. So if I drop down, you can see distribute new sections. So as your course goes along, you can create the new sections for the students that will show up inside here. So these are their sections. And remember, we only have the four right now. Uh, the next thing is copy to content library. So maybe your uh, content library is growing and you can use it in a different class. You can copy that over and send it to another notebook. If I go ahead and click on copy to content library, you'll be able to see that uh, using the content library. And that's what this is over here. If I select it, uh, and hit next and then it will just say where do you want this to go I could pick a different notebook from here and send it so it will make that copy now this part I really like makes it easy to assess students work to read what they've given you back I gave out that one assignment about uh, what they did for the summer so if I go to review student work and I go into homework and at this point if I just hit next I'll come up with the welcome back assignment that I created and I'll hit next on this one. And here's my students here. So if I go ahead, let's say, and I could just uh, click between my different students on this. If I had the long list, uh, they didn't write anything on this one, but if they did, uh, I would see it right here. And I can give quick comments back. I can click on uh, anything and just write back and give them a comment. And they are gonna see this on their end too. So you can move things around, but you can do a lot more than just right on it even if you look at the insert option uh, here I can go back maybe there's a file I want to add maybe I was marking a rubric and I was uh, on paper and then I took a picture of my phone and uh, saved it as a picture and uploaded it as a picture or maybe you have a different file PDF that you wanted to upload another good feature you could record an audio and send it back to them with, with your own voice so depending on uh, what way you can really individualize it for each student uh, if you're just having a little fun here Here's the sticker options. You click on stickers here. I'm just going to close the class notebook here, and you can go through and see all the different uh, all the different ones that are there. I'm just going to put this guy in here, and that student is going to see that sticker uh, in their notebook. So you could go through. This isn't going to every student, and remember, you can move them around. This isn't going to any every student. This is just going to the student that I selected that I'm on right now. So that was under the uh, review student work. And when you click, click on it, you just go through the process of choosing the assignment that you gave. And all these closed down, you can have multiple open. 
manage notebooks. So in manage notebooks, this is where you can go back uh, to add your new sections, just like uh, when at the very beginning, when we created our new sections, you could create them from here also. So there's different ways you can do this. Uh, add teacher only section uh, to this one. So if, uh, if I click on this, what this does, uh, if I go back, I'm just gonna hit close now, you're gonna notice a new section. I'm just gonna open this up again here and teacher only section here that will be uh, just the teacher using this students won't be able to see it but that was under the manage notebooks here we do have a few other options you can lock the collaboration space here and there's also a copy notebook link that you could send, uh, send somebody so they could access the notebook through here now if you're looking for more help inside this uh, there is I'm just gonna go over to our class notebook let me make sure I click on the tab you can see there's prof uh, professional development tab here that you can go through and find out more information on maybe ways different people are using it inside their classroom I just I just want to show you that inside I'm going to open up my window here going back to my office 365 and go to class notebook here so I'm just going to open up class notebook and you can see if I go to manage notebooks here uh, this is the notebook that I just created inside uh, Microsoft Teams so even if I uh, wasn't uh, working inside Microsoft Teams I can be using this outside of Teams and not even having to use it in there with all those uh, different features that that I showed you to where you can manage them uh, through here. So I could open the notebook and I have access. I'm not in Microsoft Teams anymore. You can see uh, OneNote here and I have all my students that I've entered in here with the same uh, functionality. I can go up to class notebook. So maybe you don't even want to use it in Microsoft Teams and just use it um, uh, on the outside of it. So I hope you like this tutorial today. I find this is a whether you're just using a class notebook by itself or inside Microsoft Teams, this is a great way to uh, work in a blended environment environment with students at many different grade levels. Let me know what else you're uh, wanting to learn about uh, down below in the comments. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.